Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Global Healthy Living. Please subscribe to my channel and be part of the Global Healthy family. Before I continue, uh, I would like to wish you a very happy new year and Merry Christmas to everyone who happen to celebrate Christmas Day. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, the eight common sexually transmitted infections, in short, STIs, or uh, sexually transmitted diseases, in short, STDs. Uh, STDs or STIs are really a big problem we have uh, today. And according to the World Health Organization, uh, every day, uh, one million people get infected with STIs. So, uh, among the eight STIs or STDs that are common uh, is uh, HPV, which is human papilloma virus. Uh, human papilloma virus is the common sexually transmitted infection uh, with more than 290 million uh, women having this kind of infection. It is transmitted through uh, vaginal sex, oral sex, and anal sex. This kind of infection usually doesn't show symptoms, though in some people it shows symptoms like lumps or bumps on your genitals uh, that are accompanied by a gentle itching sensation if this infection called hpv or human papilloma virus is not treated it can lead to serious 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 healthy problems such as uh, chronic genital warts and uh, multiple location cancers uh, like cancer of the cervix. Uh, it can cause cancer of the throat, cancer of the vulva, and cancer of the pens. So it's really, really important uh, to go for a test for this virus and to people uh, that are younger than 25 years, it's better for you to go and get vaccine against this HPV. The second sexually transmitted infection is called trichomoniasis. This infection is sometimes called trich and it is caused by a, a protozoa parasite. It is transmitted through uh, vaginal intercourse as well as oral and anal sex. So the kind of symptoms uh, that come with this kind of infection in women, it includes yellow or green vaginal discharge, uh, pain while urinating, uh, and so on. But in men, uh, trichomoniasis uh, bring about thin and uh, white discharge that comes from the penis and it brings pain while urinating so on is and redness and if trichomoniasis is not treated it can cause gentle inflammation which can make a person vulnerable to other infections such as hiv the third common a sexually transmitted infection is called uh, hepatitis type b in short, HBV. Hepatitis type B is a viral infection uh, that attacks uh, the liver and can cause both acute and chronic disease. It is transmitted through direct contact uh, with blood and uh, bodily fluids uh, with infected sores as well as um, from infected mother to child during childbirth. This infection uh, is preventable also with a vaccine. So uh, if you contract uh, hepatitis type B, you are likely to get symptoms like uh, fever, 
yellowing of the skin uh, you can get pain in the abdomen uh, you can as well get lack of uh, appetite and also nausea with vomiting so if you get that and you've been sexually active uh, please go for a test you may have contracted hepatitis type B uh, the fourth common uh, sexually transmitted infection is called chlamydia I talked about chlamydia uh, in one of my videos but still I'll repeat it because it's among the common uh, sexually transmitted infection so uh, chlamydia is caused by a bacteria and it is transmitted through uh, vaginal sex uh, oral sex and anal sex a person who has contracted chlamydia uh, usually uh, get symptoms like pain during intercourse for a woman uh, rectal pain a uh, person can as well get uh, abnormal uh, discharge bleeding in women uh, during sex and between periods so if you get such kind of uh, symptoms please go for a test the fifth type of uh, sexually transmitted infection is called gentle herpes gentle herpes is caused by uh, herpes simplex uh, virus in short hsv and the primary way to get this infection is through sex after the initial infection uh, this virus lies dominant uh, in your body and uh, can reactivate several times a year gentle herpes uh, can cause pain uh, in your gentle area uh, that can also be accompanied with itching and sores but you may have no symptoms at all uh, in some people they don't get symptoms and that doesn't mean that you cannot transmit that infection to another person so it's really dangerous that a person can have this kind of infection and not be able to uh, know yet they can uh, spread the infection to other people the sixth sexually transmitted infection is called gonorrhea gonorrhea is caused by a bacteria and this infection is more widely known as clap it is a common disease and it has long-term effects it is also transmitted uh, through vaginal intercourse anal and oral sex if detected earlier this infection can be properly treated and cured gonorrhea has symptoms like pain while urinating or uh, it has rectal itching it has abnormal penile or vaginal discharge it has um swelling or pain in testicles for men and also throat pain or infection uh, plus other signs like abnormal and painful bowel movements uh, the seventh common sexually transmitted infection is called syphilis syphilis is caused by a bacteria also and it is also transmitted uh, from one person to another via contact uh, with syphilitic uh, sore so syphilis can be transferred via vaginal intercourse uh, oral or anal sex so in pregnant women for example if syphilis is not detected and treated this kind of infection can be transferred to a baby during a childbirth so pregnant women please uh, let it be an obligation to you uh, to test for all STDs while you're pregnant this kind of infection called syphilis has uh, 
symptoms that can be classified as primary symptoms and secondary symptoms so in primary symptoms we have things like uh, single sore or multiple sores uh, that are located where the syphilis entered your body from and the secondary symptoms you may develop uh, some rashes and also mucous membrane lesions that can be uh, in your mouth, uh, they can be in your vagina or anus. So please go for screening for this kind of infection if you happen to have this kind of symptoms. The last uh, is called HIV and AIDS. HIV is transferred uh, via a direct contact with bodily fluids uh, such as semen, uh, breast milk, vaginal discharge, and blood. Uh, a person who contracts HIV may not know directly, but after some time, like three weeks, uh, in some people, they happen to get uh, signs and symptoms. These signs for early HIV include uh, fever, uh, flu-like illnesses, uh, like swollen lymph nodes, uh, like headache, uh, sore throat, and muscles. So, uh, if you have been sexually active and you experience such uh, symptoms, please go for a test. Remember, these symptoms can last uh, between two to four weeks and they go away by themselves. My friend, make a right decision today and go for a screening or testing for STDs or STIs so that you know your status and get treatment in time. Thank you so much for watching uh, this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet done so and invite as many friends as possible to join this channel because we teach you a lot of things about your health uh, to prevent diseases and to improve your health uh, thank you and please uh, comment and like thank you